Mark Nash, Michael Gross, Michael Gross, the boss, my nigga, my brother. Let's get this sh- done, Mike. <laughs> we all love sports, man. Yes, sir. Michael Gross, the boss, and I'm back with another one, man. Smash that thumbs up button on your way in. Let's go ahead and get to it right, right, right now. So I've been looking at a lot of different. Uh, YouTube channels, um, the boxing voice in particular. And we had a lot, well, they had a lot of callers call in saying that 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 Caleb, that David Benavidez is not ready for Canelo, man. He need he need one or two more fights, man. What I seen on Saturday night, don't tell me that he's ready for, for Canelo. And I'm just like, what? What what I seen Saturday night is a dude beat the shit out of out of another dude. What I seen on Saturday night was somebody who had nerves early in the fight because it was his first pay-per-view, his first time being in there with somebody on the elite level, and he was a little bit nervous. But you seen, once David got his groove, once David found his his comfort zone, it was all she wrote from round five to round 12. I didn't give Caleb Plant not one round. No, I didn't give him one round. So for all y'all saying that David needs to pump the brakes, that David ain't ready, I call bullshit. And a matter of fact, let's hear from David Benavidez so he can tell y'all how ready he is for Canelo, I mean, for, uh, Canelo Alvarez. I feel like as um, Canelo Alvarez, he needs these fights. You know, um, a big a big fighter like me, this is definitely a really big fight. You know, as you can see, as me and Caleb plan was a, was a, a, a huge fight, you know, so I think it would be huge pay-per-view numbers and I mean, let's just take it back to fighting, man. I mean, I I want I want to prove myself. Canelo's proved himself, but I feel like he needs to give me the opportunity too. And it's not like I'm begging for something. I'm I've been mandatory for the past two fights, so it's something I've earned, you know. And especially after this fight, um, I showed that I belong to be. In, I I've deserved to be in there. You know, I wasn't really getting hit as much. You know, what I mean, I, my defense was good. I I thought Caleb Plant was faster, so I was really countering, and I was using my head movement and defense good. I know I could get better. But I feel like the the only fight that people want to see in super middle is me versus Canelo. So let's give it to him. You damn right, David. You damn right. He didn't get hit against Caleb Plant. Once he found his groove, he started to pick Caleb Plant off. We've seen how strong he was. We've seen how he forced Caleb Plant to move around the ring. Now, I'm not saying going into the fight that David Benavidez should be the favorite. What I'm saying is that he earned his opportunity, and he says that he's ready. For anybody out there who says that David Benavidez ain't ready, he need one more fight, he need this, he need that, I call bullshit. Canelo, put on your big boy pants. Come down and fight the Mexican monster. All right, you got John Ryder. All right, we, we, we respect that. But we all, as a boxing community, want to see you against David Benavidez. Let's give the people what they want. If you want to see this fight, leave me a comment below. And uh, real quick, I'm out this thing. Yes, sir. Just remember, this video has been edited by Mike on Sports. Please smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out this thing.